There's so much that you want to tell your customers and you want to help them in any way possible. But what do you say? Where do you say it? How do you say it? When do you say it? Well, today we're going to go over how to put together a content strategy to help your customers get exactly what they need from you and hopefully for them to give you a call. Hi, boring business owners, and welcome to my channel. I'm Desiree, and I'm here to help your message get seen in that cluttered newsfeed. If you haven't already, and you're looking to learn more about social media and online marketing, make sure you click that subscribe button below so you don't miss any more videos from this channel. So to get started, what is a content strategy? Well, a content strategy is a plan and a purpose for distributing information online. So what's content, you may be asking? Well, content is the distribution channel in which it's being done in. Some of it could be YouTube videos, podcasts, blogs. There's so many forms online nowadays and mediums that are gonna help you that really the internet is your oyster, but the top ones are going to be blogging, emailing, and video. You're gonna ask yourself two main questions when you're getting started with a content strategy. What is your objective and what are you going to do? So to get started with the first one, which is what is your objective? Well, I think that the overall objective that you're probably thinking of is, oh, well, I won't be able to call me and get the sale. But there are some other objectives that maybe you want to think about for your content. If you're writing a blog post, maybe it's to get people to sign up for your email newsletter or your opt-in that you're offering on your website. Maybe it's to, for, to get people to hit that subscribe button. Hint, hint. Or maybe for a video, it's just to get it watched to share that information. Or maybe if you're posting on social media, it's to get people to comment or share what you have put up there. So it's all about thinking about what the specific objectives are for that content piece that you are making. So what are you going to do? So now I want you to think about five different things and they are who, what, how, when, and where in that order. So the first one, who? Who are you creating this content for? Well, ideally it's gonna be for your perfect customer. If you're not 100% sure who your perfect customer is or what they look like, I'm gonna include a link down in the description below with a worksheet that's gonna help you work through identifying exactly who it is that you wanna be talking with for your perfect customer online. The next one, what are you solving for them? These can be pretty common things, like what are the most common questions that people ask you all the time? What problem does your who have that you're trying to solve for them? That's going to be sort of the meat and potatoes of this post. For example, this video is what is a content strategy, which is what I'm trying to solve for you. How is the next, so number three, how? How are you going to give it to them? What is the medium that you're going to distribute this in? Maybe it's an email list, maybe it's an infographic, maybe it's a Facebook post, maybe it's a blog on your website, maybe it's a video. Whatever that is, the how is going to be the medium in which you are delivering it. Now you know the who, what, and how, now we're gonna talk about the fourth piece, which is where. These are gonna be things like sharing it on social media, maybe doing a Facebook or Google ad, Maybe it's just built-in traffic from your YouTube channel or from your blog. Maybe it's in a newsletter. That is going to be the where. So you've created all of this stuff. Where are you going to share it? And then we have when, which is the last of our five. When are you going to share it? It's really important when you're creating a content strategy that you also attach it to a calendar. And I want you to watch this video right here about how to create a content calendar so that you can distribute your stuff accurately and evenly throughout the month. So with the when are you going to distribute it, maybe you have to decide when you're going to be creating your content. Maybe every Tuesday is new content day. Maybe every Thursday is like Tech Thursday or whatever it may be. It's important that with the when, it's paired with a schedule and a calendar for ongoing consistent content. So let me give you an example in how this video came to be. I know exactly who I'm talking to, and that is you, the boring business owner who's trying to figure out how to get their message seen in a cluttered newsfeed or cluttered internet or cluttered whatever that has to do online. I know exactly who you are and what your problems are, and I'm trying to solve it for you. What is it that I'm solving for you? Well, with this video, I'm solving how to create a content strategy by breaking down the exact steps that you need so that you too can create content for your customers so that you can get more business. How am I giving it to you? Well, I'm giving it to you right here in this YouTube video. So 
I hope that this has been a good medium for you. Where am I going to share it? Well, beyond posting it to YouTube and making sure that my back end is set up correctly, I'm also going to share it on my social media and in an email newsletter that I like to send out to people who are already on my email list. And when am I going to distribute it? Well, I distribute new how-to videos on my YouTube channel every Wednesday and Friday. So this video probably lines up with the Wednesday or Friday publication date. So that's it. That's my who, what, how, where, and when for creating this piece of content and you can do it too. So I wanna know what is the newest piece of content that you've created for your perfect customer? Let me know down in the description below so that we can all see it and hopefully learn from you too. If you're looking to figure out how to create a content calendar for your business, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video right here. And if you're looking for some what you should not be doing on social media, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video that's right here. And like we would say in military life, it is never goodbye. It is see you soon. So until next time, I will see you soon.